Relationship with Emotions Uh, hi. Wait up, James. What's wrong? I thought you liked her. Yeah, but I can't talk to her. Just thinking about it makes my stomach hurt. What's going on in James's body? There's a nerve inside our bodies called the vagus that looks like the roots of a tree. The roots touch every major organ, including the heart, lungs, and stomach. The vagus nerve is like an information highway that helps the brain and body talk to each other. Most of the information starts from the body and goes up to the brain. So the vagus is constantly telling your brain how your body is feeling. Sometimes we feel things in the body before our brains even know what's happening. When you feel butterflies in your stomach, that's the vagus nerve telling the brain that something is making you feel nervous. And when you have a gut feeling about someone, that's your vagus nerve too. Sometimes we need to pause to help sort out the information the vagus nerve is sending to our brains. The signals from our body might feel intense, like a stomach ache, but once we stop to think about it, we realize we're not really in danger. We can actually be scared or excited and not even know it. Hey, maybe your stomach's trying to tell you something. What if we try that surfing emotions exercise we learned? See if you can watch the sensations inside for a moment, breathe into them, and then try to give them a label. Okay. I feel nervous, but I feel kind of excited too. All right, on a scale of one to 10, how intense are the emotions? About a seven on nervousness and a three on excited. Okay, how's your stomach doing now? It's still kind of tight, but getting better. Maybe a three, I think I can handle it now. It's weird how just noticing how we feel can help. I know, right? I got this now. One thing we know is that emotions always come and go. Having a healthy relationship with our emotions means we can observe them without getting tangled up in them. This gives us the space to decide whether or not we want to act on them, because sometimes we need to act on them, and sometimes we don't. Observing our emotions can also help relieve stress. Research shows that feeling stressed out a lot can lead to being sick more often and can also lead to poor health later in life, like having cancer and heart disease. Knowing how to take care of our emotions can help us lead healthier lives, both physically and emotionally. <laughs>